Excellency Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim, Prime Minister of Malaysia and very honourable members of uh, Malaysian delegation, honourable Deputy Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mr. Isaac Dar and honourable federal ministers, government officials, chairman of authorities, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and a very good afternoon. My dear brother, your uh, visit to Pakistan for the first time as Prime Minister of uh, Malaysia is not your first visit. You have been to this brotherly country many times as a student, as a tourist, and of course as a minister. And your very valuable contributions are not only very fresh in our minds, but we will remember your sense of commitment of friendship to Pakistan for all times to come. My dear brother, like many great leaders which are remembered in annals of history, you are also one of them and will be remembered for ages for your struggle, your commitment to your country, your unwavering belief in providing equal opportunities to your countrymen and forging fraternal relations with Pakistan. Your struggle includes your incarceration for about over 10 years in different periods of time. Today, under your great leadership, Malaysia is progressing in a manner which is a model to emulate. Your foreign direct investments are on the increase. Your exports are on the increase. You are bringing deep-rooted changes in your governance, including transparency and fight against corruption. Excellency, I hope you will be visiting Pakistan soon again to visit other parts of Pakistan and refresh your good old memories. Today, Excellency, we have had a wonderful one-on-one uh, -on -one discussion and then bilateral discussion, and we covered a gambit of a uh, whole set of uh, areas, including uh, trade, investment opportunities, exploring new avenues of cooperation, strategic and defense cooperation, tourism, agriculture, semiconductors, green energy, uh, skilled uh, labor, uh, empowering youth, and so on and so forth. I am absolutely fascinated by your uh, wonderful, very uh, reassuring and uh, far-sighted uh, talk. Uh, you threw light on various important issues, bilateral, multilateral, and uh, focusing on how to uh, promote and enhance our economic relations. I am extremely grateful to you and to your team for uh, your uh, categorical assurance that together we will, inshallah, find new heights to promote our trade, commerce, investments, and of course, non-traditional items which can have a great potential for our uh, bright future. <coughs> Today, of course, uh, we have uh, discussed um, uh, the possibility of exporting to your great country halal meat uh, to the tune of uh, $200 million per annum. A colleague of mine said, Prime Minister, you have uh, revised your, uh, your figure from 100 to 200. 
I said, that's how you know, we achieve targets. And uh, I'm sure, uh, Prime Minister, I'll have your fuller support on this. I want to assure you from the core of my heart that we will not compromise on quality. We will not uh, uh, dither from our commitment. And we will meet your terms and conditions under all circumstances. And of course, we have discussed uh, export of Basmati. And uh, you have been uh, so kind to uh, uh, give us your word of honor that whatever the discrepancy is will be removed. And of course, uh, you know, there was a time when Malaysian boys and girls would come and uh, get their education in uh, uh, Lahore, Karachi, and uh, other places, King Edward Medical College, and so on and so forth. And today, as luck would have it, Thousands of Pakistani students uh, are now uh, getting uh, high quality education in Malaysia. I think uh, uh, we are very happy about it because this is how we are going to, through joint collaboration and cooperation, we are going to uh, synergize and get maximum dividends from our uh, efforts and from our cooperation. Uh, your Excellency, uh, in defense cooperation and security cooperation, we're absolutely ready to further uh, enhance this area uh, through mutual cooperation. And uh, your desire would be my command. Finally, I would like to uh, appreciate, uh, on behalf of the people of Pakistan and uh, my government and myself, your uh, uh, very clear and uh, very forthright stand on uh, Gaza, uh, oppressed people of Palestine, and of course uh, this uh, recent attack in Lebanon. I think uh, our hearts, uh, you know, you know, it's very, very heart wrenching. In fact, it's uh, heartbreaking to see this and watch this and read these stories day in and day out of innocent uh, children being martyred, uh, mothers, fathers being martyred in front of their uh, young children, and uh, cities after cities being uh, uh, demolished. I think uh, in uh, contemporary history, this kind of uh, genocide, carnage, uh, there's no parallel to that. I hope and pray to God that uh, through our joint efforts, you know, a ceasefire uh, could be put in place uh, as of yesterday and uh, peace uh, is restored and, uh, you know, good sense prevails upon. Similarly, the uh, uh, unsettled question of Kashmir, Your Excellency, is a matter of uh, a great concern for a peaceful world and, of course, uh, Islamic world. Innocent people of Kashmir are struggling for their basic rights and still have to be given their right of self-determination. They have struggled, they have paid huge sacrifices, and uh, I think thousands and thousands of Kashmiris have been martyred, and, of course, uh, uh, worst kind of uh, atrocities committed against them. They have been uh, put in, in uh, third class uh, jails, imprisoned for, for uh, uh, life, and given very severe punishment. Yet, Kashmiris are brave people. They have uh, withstood and they have uh, fought all these. Uh, uh, trials and tribulations with uh, great courage and I'm I'm sure one day soon they will uh, get their basic right Excellency once again thank you very much for your visit God bless you and Pakistan and Malaysian friendship Zindabad before I invite you I'd like to uh, uh, recite Iqbal's and you will uh, like this 
stanza he says and says very eloquently tamanna aburu ki hai agar gulzar e hasti mein tamanna aburu ki hai agar gulzar e hasti mein to kanto mein ulajh kar zindagi karne ki khu kar le aur nahi ye shaan e khuddari chaman se tod kar tujhko koi dastar mein rakh le koi zeb e glow kar le thank you very much would i invite your excellency the prime minister of malaysia for his remarks i would like to announce that pakistan is translating his excellency dato seri anwar ibrahim's book titled script into urdu language script stands for sustainability care and compassion respect innovation prosperity and trust these six values were selected because of how they integrate together and reinforce one another The script acronym has been translated as Madani in Malay. It is the current national policy framework serving as a resource for understanding the essentials of governance, social justice and community building. The book will be launched as soon as the translation is completed. Now I invite your excellency your remarks. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah nahmadu wa nusalli ala rasulil karim. Shukriya Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif for the hospitality to my delegation for your kind remarks for your support and uh, not uh, merely a friendship or diplomatic uh, encounter but for a brotherly uh, spirit shown and the love and affection as brothers Well I am um, a friend a brother of Pakistan and I think um, I my visit is of course um, very meaningful to me very personal because it's a land envisioned by Alama Muhammad Iqbal with his wisdom the philosopher poet has placed in his writings in his speeches uh, such a vision and and um, we just hope that this spirit uh cleaves on in the hearts and minds not only of pakistanis but also the muslims throughout the world but as i remarked this is also the land led by one esteemed world statesman karul azam muhammad ali jinnah and uh, i recall that uh, many of my speeches lectures i have never failed to cite some of his brilliant speeches including the compelling case for pakistan in his 1947 constituent assembly speech now um, we have had extensive discussions is amazing is only through uh, not only bilateral encounter but a trusted friendship that we can um, agree on a number of issues and um, you have proven what uh, many of us believe uh, very serious very business like down to earth get things done thank you and very much. Uh, i and en- i don't envy your colleagues <laughs> but but it means well for the future of pakistan and um, so we'll meet uh, next month in kuala lumpur inshallah the joint review committee of the malaysia pakistan close economic partnership yes. agreement for the joint commission meeting and um, we will follow through with my colleagues in detail in specific uh, programs uh, to make sure that those things we have agreed will be um, implemented on the beef import it shouldn't be a problem and we will certainly look at it um, and and we need we still import we import from other countries I don't see any reason why we can't import from Pakistan. Thank you very uh, much. There's no issue of halal. <laughs> all all in all my travels uh, Pindi and uh, Karachi and Islamabad, Lahore and uh, of course Sharimala Gardens is my favorite. Um I just love to bring my wife and you know be more romantic in that place. Um we we have don't have an issue with halal certification. 
but we'll go through the process yeah. and we'll certainly speed up the import from Pakistan. Similarly, rice. Yeah. Uh, we do import rice and um, we, will, we have agreed the initial 100,000 metric tons. We'll uh, see the, the uh, price mechanisms, etc. But I can assure you there's no differentiation in terms of import duty imposed. In fact, um, I'll, I'm pleased to announce to you that the trade office, Matrade, will open uh, next month in uh, Karachi. Um, on the issue of um, collaborations as skilled labor, um, we will certainly uh, look forward because um, uh, our focus on the professionals uh, required to, to uh, satisfy the new demands, uh, huge, massive investments, probably the largest in the uh, ASEAN region in terms of <laughs> IT, digital, and AI. And I'm, I'm, I'm pleased, alhamdulillah, the Malaysia is regarded as one of the important hubs for semiconductor industry. And uh, we should be able to collaborate on that field too. We discuss in a uh, variety of issues on special economic zone, on uh, the issue of um, trade investments, on um, military and defense uh, uh, um, procurement, uh, particularly in areas that you have uh, been able to succeed, uh, even in collaborating with uh, Turkey. On flights, thank you very much for the addition of four flights. Um, Malaysia look forward to increasing that because uh, there are some triple sort of interest, triple numbers of tourists from Malaysia to Pakistan. Um, that um, which sees the potential of this beautiful country. And I think uh, in this relation, we would certainly welcome uh, Pakistani tourists into Malaysia. Our only advantage, uh, not only advantage, one of the key advantages is that we have warm water throughout the year to sip. <laughs> mm. as, long, as long as you wear something. <laughs> now, um, on EV and car, there are specific areas. I wouldn't well on these subjects because I think many of the issues have been uh, discussed and uh, we are supposed to follow through. Uh, but you did mention about the um, uh, some of the international concerns. I followed your speech at the United Nations General Assembly, a compelling case to respect uh, human rights, justice all over the world, and uh, you made a compelling case for Palestine and Gaza. And uh, we appreciate your stance, and um, it is uh, being followed, it's viral, uh, admired by many of those who believe in freedom and justice. Okay. The problem is more precarious, of course, now with the expanded and extended war uh, aggression into Lebanon and the continued genocide uh, into Gaza and the West Bank. Uh, we have said that this issue is not an issue of uh, it's not a war between two countries. It is completely in, uh, intransigence and aggression, uh, disregarding all fundamental rules of international order and uh, and the plight of the Palestinians for the seven decades now, yeah. um, dispossessed, uh, denied of their basic rights. And you have seen not only inconsist inconsistency, but hypocrisy in many so-called countries, so countries talking about human rights and freedom, hectoring the world about human rights and freedom, but uh, certainly uh, being very selective in the decisions. On Kashmir, which you discussed, because we have said clearly that we are committed to support the United Nations uh, Security Council resolution. Thank you. But the concern of uh, human rights concerns is, of course, our concern. We will continue to voice in through uh, channels that is uh, uh, acceptable. And, and um, we, we pray, inshallah, that this issue will be amicably resolved. We did discuss on issues like Afghanistan, we hoping to um, achieve some sort of a arrangement and international recognition, uh, hoping that also that Afghan, Afghan authorities and government also concede uh, and, and try to make the adjustments necessary to secure peace 
uh, with its neighbours and also to ensure that some policies are generally acceptable to the international community, including uh, women's right to education. We discussed the need to continue our engagement with the United States of America as uh, an important country in terms of trade investments and diplomatic relations, but also to accept the fact that we are an independent nation uh, and ASEAN, for example, ASEAN centrality um, regards the relations with our neighbours as very important and therefore our strengthening bond of relations with China. So again, let me thank you. Um, thank you for this opportunity and thank you for reciting this great poem from uh, Alama Muhammad Iqbal. Um, very impressive. Um, I, I know you tried to convince me that you memorize some, and I don't, um, except for you know being a, a very serious uh, student uh, who uh, try and grasp uh, the values, the message, the compelling case for dignity um, that uh, is expounded by Alama Muhammad Iqbal. So, shukriya. Salam alaikum. Thank you.